Hello, Monsters of Banyan, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and a brand new campaign as... What's this faction called? Uh... Clan Vrut... Vrut... Vrutkin. Clan Vrut... They're the gas guys. They fucking love gas. They love... They love big globes and lots of gas. D don't we all? Um, now, I can't show you what the faction effects are because they don't show up, but that's fine because I, I took a picture of the... Selection screen. So we get diplomatic relations with Clan Scryer, although being the fact that we've actually got relations with Clan Scryer and it doesn't actually. Oh no, he does. There we go. He's got plus 20. He just doesn't like us very much because we are a vassal, effectively, of, of, uh, of Clan Scryer. Uh, we get ammunition and research plus 5% for Clan Vertkin for every active war against Skaven, which sounds quite nice until you realise that, well, actually. There's not many Skaven on the map, and they don't tend to do very well. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually declare war on these guys. Fuck you. Small-brained rat. No! Right, that's 5% extra uh, research and ammunition for us, then. <laughs> uh, we have a greater chance of intercepting armies using the Underway, Beast Pass, or Wild Roots. And construction costs is reduced for weapon dump, weapon burrows, and arsenal buildings, meaning we can build our weapon teams faster. Now, um, as I said, we love big globes and we love gas, and as such, most of our units are, well, unique. Even our clan rats have an ammunition, which means that they can chuck um, globes at people. They've got the poison wind effect. It's not that potent. You might look at that and go, holy shit, that's strong, but actually it's... it's not... Are you okay down there? You in? You in? You gonna do... No? Good. Okay, so... So we start at war with these guys who are apparently just Skaven Skaven. So good they named them twice. I'm not sure who usually starts here, but whoever it is, uh, they're dead. So we are going to just pop Jeremy the Master Globe Deer. That's right. All of Clan Verkin love their globes, but one of them is particularly masterful at manipulating globes. Yes, it's a sex joke. Um, we're going to build the Clan Vrutkin Cauldron. Let's do that one. We've got the, the weapons dump already, which means we can build the Warp Grinders. I don't know why they're different. They're called Vrutkin Warp Grinders. Uh, they don't look different. And we've also got the, the Vrutkin Gas Thrower, which I'm assuming is like the Warp Fire Thrower. But instead of fire, it's just gas. What's the difference? I don't know. I don't know. Very confused. Also, we've got the... We can upgrade our guys with, with different different thingy-majigs there, um, which is quite fun. Um, I don't know what they do, because it doesn't actually say, but um, I'm assuming, because corrosive sounds like it reduces armor. Hallucinogenic, I'm guessing maybe frenzy or something, and potent just sounds like it does more damage. And we've also got a, like a mortar. Uh, do we go with... I'm just going to go with potent globes. Potent globes and maybe corrosive globes? Sure. I'm not sure what it does. If anything. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Let's see what it does. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna move in. This of course is using mods. Um all the mods will be listed in the description, assuming I remember to do it. Good luck good luck. Good luck everyone. And here we go. First battle of a brand new campaign. It smells like well, farts, obviously. I will say that modders really do do amazing work um a lot of these these units are actually like properly fully fully modded um so we've got the great mortars which look fantastic although i will note i haven't drilled the old uh, the old gun barrels there have they and we've got the shock rats as well as we move in towards the enemy these guys, they've got big globes. Two hand weapons. Not two hand, but they've got two two they got two hand weapons. As in two comma hand weapons. Is that how that works? I'm not sure. We've also got the the clan rats with globes. So all of these guys have gas masks on. They all have chuck in the globes. Uh, we've got uh, Trick Stab, Grip Node, it's our legendary lord. And then we've got Jeremy next one. Doing a lot of damage to the as you can see, just like wailing on them with our with our big old globes. Now a lot of these guys only have one shot, so they shoot their shot and then they've got to just fight normally. 
But they, the storm vermin with the halbards, they've kind of got little sides, little electric sides. I, I think that's um, it's the same scythe that I think the warlock engineers have. But uh, it looks quite cool. It makes them a unique storm vermin units, which is nice. And they're still basically the same. They do have the the damage over time effect though. So that does mean that whatever they hit is going to take poison wind damage. The mortars are pretty effective, but wildly inaccurate. Just terrible. Now, it looks like we don't actually get affected by our own um, poison wind. It looks like we're immune to it. I... Because we definitely should have taken... We, we take the friendly fire from the explosion, but not from the damage over time. I guess that makes sense, because otherwise you would just spend the entire battle killing killing your own units. Also, the, the Poison Wind Globe it is they have, they've got 70 in a unit. Which is quite a lot. There's the old dot effect. It's going to really fuck over the codex. For, um, for YouTube. It's going to absolutely fuck the quality. It's just the way YouTube works. Oof. Just nuked one of my boys. The shock rats running away. The shock rats are. I mean, they're fine. They're, they're kind of like plague monks, aren't they? They're basically plague monks with maybe slightly more armor. I'm not entirely sure how much armor plague monks have. Poison wind globe it is, though, actually. Not horrendous in melee combat. Not horrendous. Not great, but not horrendous. And then. Good old. What's his name again? Trick Stab. Trickstab and Jeremy getting stuck in, trying to take out the enemy general. Hitting him with the big old, the halbard there, chasing him down. That's it. Get get in there. Nice. Nicely done. Good first battle. Okay, I mean... It's quite nasty, but I don't feel like overpowered. You know? Didn't feel overpowered. Uh, we've got a mechanic. Good. We've got some extra cash. Oh, we should probably build... Oh, we've already built that. I'm ahead of myself already. Look at that. All over it. Um, oh, well, better fight that one then. So we actually managed to secure the Plague Claw Catapults. It's, uh, it doesn't happen very often. In fact, it's incredibly rare. So rare that I think most people don't realize it can happen. But if you have an open slot in your army, and I'm not entirely sure how it happens, but I think it's if you like manage to defeat a, a unit of artillery, there is a small chance that you actually acquire the artillery. So there, so we've managed to pick up some Plague Claw Catapults free of charge. So thanks, guys. Again, happen, happens so rarely, because, I mean, most of the time, you're going to have a stack, right, anyway, which means if you fight your own faction, you're probably not going... And then more often than not, you don't tend to fight your own faction all that much, or at least the factions with a lot of artillery don't tend to fight each other very much. It usually mostly used to happen when the Empire had that quest battle at the start, was it the quest battle? Maybe it was one of their first enemies, but they started... Oh, was it... Did they start off with a mortar? I can't remember. It was something to do with the Empire, but occasionally you get, like, a mortar to start off with, which is quite useful. Um, but I think it's like a... I think it's like a 5%, 10% chance it'll happen. So very, very low actual percentage chance that you, you will get the artillery. So much so that it's not worth actually, like, trying to do it. It's just if it happens, you know, it's good, I guess. They're using their menace from below. They've got two. I think I've probably got two. Meanwhile, the mortars are doing an absolute number on the enemy army, as you can see. Taking that uh, nasty, the redolent miasma, which I think is the upgraded one, because the normal one is like a poison wind miasma. Poison wind? This one's different. The redolent miasma? I think so. It does 9 to 19. I think the normal one does like 8 to 14, something like that. So obviously it's doing more damage per tick apparently. Um, these guys have got... Well, they're having a, they're having a terrible time. 
These guys have got corrosive acid, so this actually should, like, reduce armor? I mean, these the Skaven Slaves don't have any armor, but you get, you get the idea. It should, if they have armor, it should reduce it. That's the plan, anyway. That's the thinking. So I'm wondering if... So if we if we chuck the globes up there, can we see how much armor it reduces it by? It's hard to see. I mean, they, they definitely don't have any armor. Minus 26. There we go. So that's minus 26 armor. It's not bad, is it? It's the corrosive. They also got toxic residue. And normal as... I mean, so basically they're having a terrible time. Basically anyone hit by all of our dots is, uh, is not in a good... Not having a... They're not robust. They're not robust. They're not rude of health anymore because they're covered in our gas. We're basically giving them a Dutch oven. Dutch oven in our enemies to death. That's how you do it. Apparently. Main problem with fighting low level Skaven armies is they do tend to run all over the place. So we've had to pull our armies back so we don't get scattered and. And oof. That's actually, you know what? That does, that does, I mean, I mean, they're Skaven Slaves. Everything does a lot of damage to them. That's just normal. It's like saying it does a lot of damage. Yes, it should do. They're Skaven Slaves. That's how it works. Still, the Skaven Slaves over here. Now, th these guys do have an explosion. I don't know what it is, and I'm tempted to use it, but I'm assuming it will kill them. I mean, it says Remote Boom, and it's on Skaven Slaves. What am I supposed to think? Obviously, we're going to blow them up. We're not going to worry about their health, are we? That's not how it works. Anyway, the enemy army eventually is broken for good. And we secure our second settlement. Okay, I, I hadn't actually realised we'd uh, we'd grabbed the the play claw catapult, but that's kind of a win, isn't it? It's a bit of a win. Ah, oh, you know me. But I, oh, is it like a different? It's a different fucking province. Sorcerer, inventor, yes, yes. Honestly, sizzle scorch. I'm going to have to go back to get the gas throwers. Whoa. Unbelievable. Okay, we've also got some skill points. We've got, we've got Warpstone Targeting System, which gives us... Um, oh, gives us ballistic lenses, more accuracy, apparently. And also gives us a hex, and also gives us magic item drop chance, which is nice. We've got acid globes, lutegenic globes, and potent globes. You know me, I love me a potent globe. And we've got Reinforced Frame, we've got Vent, which is an explosion, apparently. Okay, there we go, we've got a Warp Chemical Launcher, which is going to increase our range and reduce our reload time reduction. Our range is 90, so that would increase it quite significantly. Warp Stone Armor, and then a Personal Chem Injector. Which is going to really, like, just roid the shit out, just roid the shit out of us. And we can also launch rockets at people, because why not? Uh, we've also got the increased toxin product production, which is going to increase research, it's going to increase income from trade tariffs, and increase scaven corruption. We've got breeding chemicals, that's right, we're going to make all our rats horny. Um, that's nice. Prize combatants, which uh, increases Globadier armor and melee defense. We've got I Become Death, which is going to increase uh, attrition suffered by Defender when laying siege. Okay, increase the range of all artillery and leadership when laying siege. Fine. We've got Shock Tactics, which increases ammunition for Shock Rat units, Fear for Shock Rat units, Stalk for Shock Rat units, and Weapon Strength. Uh, 13%. Okay, that's fine. We've got Miasmic Retinue, which is going to reduce the upkeep and increase the rank for a whole slew of different units. And we've got Virulent Fetor, which is going to give us Endless Drum, which means that uh, I guess we never run out of ammunition. Oh, for everyone. Everyone in our, in our army never runs out of ammunition. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, does this actually... Skaven slave slingers with shields. Really? Okay. You gave him shields, did you? Ballsy move. Expendables. Fine. We've got what's that? Pack leader. 
So that does include the vid. Yeah, they've actually they've actually included all of these. I'm assuming these guys are like units from the other Skaven factions in the in the mod. So that's fine. Blastmaster. That's the kind of thing we want. More ammunition and also reload time reduction. Um, but I think we're going to go with Root Marcher and we're going to go for the Warp Zone targeting system. Just to start off with. And then Jeremy, show them the ropes, is going to increase recruit rank and reduce upkeep. Warp Infused Arms is going to give them additional range and reload time reduction. Ooh, well, hello there. We have time reduction for all. Well, all right, I'm grabbing that one. I'm, that that that's that's what we're getting first. What's that's what we're getting first. Oh shit, we got the thing thing. Walter Skitters Hellion Deep. I don't know why we've got those already, but good to know. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, we can, definitely could use more food. I spent a load on unit upgrades. It's fine. No one panic. Me, oh, me. I really want to recruit more stuff, but I think I've just got to keep going for it. Hit him hard. Hit him fast. Oh, I'd have to fight a siege battle. Oh, I fucking hate siege battles. Oh, fuck. Especially this one. And they all desync. Box. All right, well, gonna have, gonna have to go for it. Oh, I'll be honest, if I could have got away without fighting this, I would do, because all the world sieges, for whatever reason, are broken at the moment. The replays desync. So I've got to fight this myself. Live. Well, I say live, obviously you'll be watching the video, but I've got to fight this now myself. I can't fight the battle and then... You know, I like fighting the battles. It gives me a little downtime. I can watch a video on YouTube. I can have a little bit of a chill. It's very nice. But no, they've ruined it for me. And it's on walled sieges, which are the fucking worst. So we're going to have to do this the hard way. Oh, also I have to be careful of that. Intercept, intercept, intercept. Do not let them take out the artillery. The artillery is our strong thing. We must protect it at all costs. And to be honest, none of the units they have are particularly nasty and or dangerous, so I'm going to kind of just ignore them. Nope. Getting through units through doors is a nightmare anyway, so may as well just not bother. Oh, you have to attack here. Yeah. Okay, let's just move you forwards. It's like they're abandoning the walls and just heading over the bridge, which is fine. You know what? If you can, get a little, get a little shot in there. Be legit. Maybe don't do that though. I mean, it's fine. I'm not. I'm not precious. Tell you what, shoot, shoot at them. I mean, that worked. That worked. Pretty happy with that. Doing good. I mean, I do like, I do like damage over time. It's always been kind of my my favourite thing. Like just doing, just hitting them with something that's going to kill them eventually rather than killing them now. Why is why is that something that appeases me? I don't know. Is that a character flaw? Maybe. Do I have like psychological problems or or what's going on there? Hmm? Well, we're through the gate thanks to the gate bug, which means I can probably just capture the gate. Which works. Works for me. Uh, if we move the artillery up a little bit, eventually we could potentially like to take it in. I don't think this battle's going to be difficult, that's the thing. I was really hoping I could auto resolve it, but obviously the auto resolves. Being a bit of a dick. <laughs> Never mind. Let's get some shots in there. I mean, I don't know how much. Jeez, it's got 140 kills. Jeez, really? You've only got 29, but you've done reasonable amounts of damage that was gone. Why is this not... Should this not be falling to our side? No? 
Okay, we'll, we'll just do it the hard way then, I guess. Yeah, if you can, like, if you can... And the only thing I will say is that it's very difficult to see anyone because of all of the... all of the... all of the dot smoke. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's gonna fuck the YouTube, um... What you would call it? Oh, fuck Codex. It's gonna fuck that. It's gonna look so janky. This is the wrong faction to play, never mind. Look, I just... I just... Look, dots, all right? Dots! Dots, people! Dots! Dots are great. Um, I don't think these guys have any. Ca well, no, maybe we do have capture, capture weight. Maybe we do. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's happening. Oh, you broke it! You have to fix it now. That's it. All right, there we go. Now we're capturing it. Now we're capturing. It. Now we're doing it. Yeah, get them all. Oh, look at stacks. Poison wind and redolent miasma. Stacks. So you could do double dots. Double dots. Maybe you could do triple dots. If it's all different, then you could do triple dots. <gasps> triple dots. It's fun. I mean so far so far. So far their their lovely uh desire to blob up on a on a bridge is uh, is really helping me. So thanks for that guys. You gonna chuck yours? You want to, don't you? I can tell. I can tell you want to. You're desperate. You're desperate to release your globes. So I've got a, a whole trail of uh, routing units there. I guess we could probably get you through the gate now. I mean, uh, the gate is now like ours, so we can just move the units in and bombard them from long range, at which point... I mean, they're, they're basically going to have to come to us, right? That's my thinking. So we'll we'll speed it up. I know you guys can't... I'm fairly safe sending... Are you going to go up through the wall? You are going to go up through the wall. No, don't do that. If you send more than two units through a gate, it sends anyone else up the nearest wall. Oh, look at that. That's very satisfying. That's very satisfying. Lovely stuff. Okay, if you guys go over there. Then we can hopefully, like, bombard these guys. Basically, job done. We won't have to go into the city. We can, uh... Oh. You wanna you wanna come and play guys? Cause I said that I was gonna be defeated, but I doubt it. My my working theory is that it's something to do with the um the desyncs are something to do with the the art not the garrison, the army, because I've noticed that some some sieges don't desync, and some do, and it tends to be the larger ones, and I'm wondering. If it's something to do with the if like the garrison behaves itself, but it's the it's the army inside that doesn't doesn't do what it should be doing. That's my current working theory. How true that is, I don't know. Okay, we'll we'll send you we'll send you across. I'm hoping that if we do enough, we can basically break them without actually having to, to put any actual effort in. And the only problem with the the Great Mortar is that its, it's accuracy is piss poor. Alright, let's chuck Poison Wing Globes at you. Because normally the weapon teams are actually quite small, aren't they? But this is a 80, 80 poison wing globes. Right, there's the enemy general. So he's the only guy in... He's the only other unit in this entire 
city who isn't part of the garrison. So I'd be interested to find out whether he does what he should be doing. If everyone else does, then at least I can go go to CA and go, I think this is why your why your replays are broken. You're welcome for doing your work for you. Oh, good stuff. How much ammunition do they have? Quite a lot, actually. Come on, break. Break. Come on, piss off. Go away, shoo. Tell you what, if you go there... I'll tell you what, we could... Do this. Like maybe try and kill those night runners. We just do enough damage to them with any luck. Uh, otherwise, we're going to charge into the city and try and kill everyone. I don't really want to do that. It's just a lot of work. It's a lot of busy work, a lot of paperwork. All right, fuck it, let's do it. Oh, oh, unless... So if we get, if we get Jeremy and um, Trickstab... Don't know if this will actually do any damage, but it's worth a punt. Uh, very minimal damage. I'm amazed they're still fighting. They've only got 649, which when you scaven, that's bugger all. You run out of ammo. Never mind. You did kill 419, so that's pretty good. Oh, oh, it's happening. It's happening. And uh, we did it. Ah, oh, well, that's good. We have no food. So that'll have to do. What? Um, maybe we I could... I have no time, so make it quick. Could we be friends, Marathi? I just feel like we could be friends. It's a lot of money, but... How wicked. Yeah, I just... I would just... I think we could be friends, Marathi. I think we could make friends. I could be friends with Dark Elves. So, mission objectives... Victory conditions, I should say. Mission objective. Victory conditions. Um, pretty, pretty standard. Pretty basic. I think our victory condition should be going over and teaching Clan Scryer that we, we are the techno rats. Not like techno dancing rats, but you know, the the, the rats who do techno. Good? Okay, good. Um, so our, our victory condition is going to be going and kicking the shit out of Clan Scryer. In the meantime, I'm going to get hallucinogenic globes? I don't know what that does. It's worth worth finding out though. We're gonna give you um Gas this breath. It's a breath ability. Hmm. So these are like your spells, I'm assuming. So you've got your own own whirlwind of gas, acidic decay. Well this sounds fun. Okay, well we're we, we could use some spells, so we'll do that. We can get some Vrutkin Skaven Slaves. Now, the difference about these guys is they actually have uh, an ability... Jeez, do we have no money? Oh, yeah, we don't have any money because I just, I just gave it all to Marathi. I'm going to spend it on dildos. Is we do have a remote boom, which does mean they explode. I'm not entirely sure how useful it is, but could be worth, could be worth a look. Trit Stabs Laboratory. Oh. Skaven Warp Bomb Armies in Region. Okay, Skaven Corruption. Proof Towers. Good. Okay. Unlocks Technology. Ship Warp Chemicals to the Council of Thirteen. What's this? Oh, we've got like a bunch of... So we need the Laboratory to do that. And then we can get Diplomatic Relations, which is fine, except for the fact that we're probably going to fight them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we can also give regeneration for Globalier and Bombardier. Okay, that's fine. We can also get missile strength for those guys. 
melee attack and cause fear for those guys. Reload time reduction. Warrior enhancement research. Ecstatic warp chemicals. What the fuck does that mean? I have no idea what that means. Warp vision. Oh, is it just going to be... So just gonna be text littered around the I don't know. New ops on user. I genuinely don't know. How weird. Okay. Alright. Alright, fair enough. Um well we may as well start with a uh, ferocious plan. It's something. <laughs> Uh, we can't even repair that because we're too poor. Gave all my money to Mummy Marathi. Never mind. What we could potentially do is if we could like grab some of these settlements, if we can grab maybe one that Marathi wants, we could just give it to Marathi and be like, here you go, enjoy. That way we could we could get in with Mummy Marathi and um, that way maybe, maybe Danny Malekith will be, you know, if he sees that you know, his mummy likes the little furry things. Maybe, maybe Malekith will be like, okay, I guess you can stick around then. I'm thinking of an inn. It's fine. Right, we need iron spike. Yes, yes. If I, right, we want, we want this one first. Right, so fastest way down is that way. Let's stay us Let's probably do some recruitment if we can. I don't really want to meet the, um... Don't want to meet the lizards, to be honest. This is going to give us. Does that give us food? It doesn't give us food. I thought. It, I thought it did. Maybe. Give, oh, it generates food at high levels. All right, fine. We've got that. Then. Does this give us food? It does not. Nothing gives us food. Right. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to work through the disappointment. Our rat, the mad, needs to die. Fallen gate down there. I mean, I what I could do is maybe give. If I, if I go down and take that, and then I can give it to Mummy Marathi and be like, here you go, protect me from the big old fat lizard, please. Please. Please do that. What does blessed gas do? Okay, that doesn't do damage. What does blinding gas do? Well, that doesn't do damage. What about vermintide? I mean, vermintide spawns more rats, right? Which is fine. Sure. I'm okay with that. Driven by hunger. I think for both battle loop. Nothing wrong with that. What's public order like? Not good. No one's happy. Probably because we don't have enough food. Bugger. Need more food. Okay, we'll finish you off. I'm just going to boop you. Just occupy. Okay, the Skaven are dead, which does mean it reduces our weapon research and it said weapon research, didn't it? There's no other tabs, there's just this one. I'm assuming it must be this. One technology, Triskin's laboratory. Oh, it's just the previous one. All right, so we just need to get that, and then we can research all of these. Seems quite powerful. But that's fine. Mm, more accuracy. I don't really need accuracy, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to get an inspiring presence. I like to think of myself as an inspiring presence. Just generally. What's that? More poison wing globadiers. Yes, please. Absolutely. Right, Mummy Marathi, who are you? You're currently patience. fighting them. Would you like me to declare war on them? Same. Would you give me some money for that? Not very much, but... For Kane. You know, I was going to do it anyway, so... If I can come up and take Iron Spike. More's the better. I, mean, I could get one of you guys. 
I do like rat ogres. They're not very good, but I just kind of like them. Don't rebel. Come on, chill. 83, 29 is 30. Are oh, you going to rebel either way? So it doesn't really matter. You may as well give me money, to be honest. Uh, right, I'm going to have to deal with that. That's a, that's a problem, isn't it? Oh, you're back again, I see. Sorcerer, inventor. Yes, uh, yes. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hit Iron Spike first. We'll grab that. We'll deal with them in a minute. So I'm going to take Blast Master. What the fuck? Rattling guns, right? Teeth breakers, right? And then death dealers. What the fuck are death dealers? Okay, pass. Uh Vicrin Death Globes. I don't know if they're better. Do they do more damage? Maybe? I genuinely don't know. Well, we'll get Blast Master anyway. And I might go with more vermin tide. How's our winds of magic? I mean it's not great, but the buttload of Skaven we can summon in. Would be pretty good. I mean, I could... If we... If we get... If we get... You. Hop in there. Right, recruit a bunch of Skaven... Basically, hold the line. Right, hold the line. I'm busy. I've got shit to do. So just hold the line, okay? That's all you need to do. Okay, oh, for fuck's sake, really? Oh, I was going to go and take that, but you've taken it already. Okay, well that's fine. Just don't... You've got that weird sex corruption, haven't you? Stop. Stop it, please. Okay, we can we can eat these guys. To be honest, that may not be the... Wow, that's a lot of Skaven slaves, um, Slingers. You have that. That's fine. We can eat them. That's fine. We can we can eat them. That's that's easy, easy, easy peasy. We are going to take... Oh, we need Ice Rock Gorge as well, don't we? So we need Ice Rock Gorge. Um, I also need to sort of... We might head north into the desert. Because, I mean, how do we... Do we... Do we do we mind desert? I can't remember what in the Oh yeah, we like everything, apparently. We're just suitable. Oh yes, no, that's true, because I've got a mob that basically made everything suitable, because I think um, client penalties are fucking bullshit. Mind you, Skaven don't have many unpleasant climates. So, it doesn't really matter. But still, the point still stands. No council of 13 here, here. Hello. Mm, nah. Keepers of Bliss are dead. That's unfortunate for them. Income from post-battle loot is quite nice. Always more beside casualty punishment rate. Definitely grab that one. Hello. Oh, god damn. God, it never rains, but it pours, doesn't it? Right, well, you need to die. Beastmen showing up on my fucking doorstep. Do not, do not be, do not be close to the other. Right, okay, good. So we can, we can attack the beastmen. We're going to kill the beastmen. We've got the ambush as well. That's a win. We're going to kill the beastmen. We're going to eat them. And then we're going to kill the rebel rats and we're going to eat them too. Meat's back on the menu, boys. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.